Hey everyone, Reverend Dominic here. It's Thursday, the 21st of May, and I uh, was just looking around my office and, I, and I, I wanted to share with you something that I keep here. I'm not even sure why I keep it here, uh, but maybe there's some sort of deeper, deeper uh, reason or meaning, and that's this. It's a communion chalice uh, that's broken. It's uh, chipped in two places around the, the rim there and on the bottom. It, uh, it fell or was dropped or I'm not naming any names, but this happened a long time ago. And um, uh, I probably should have just thrown it away, but I didn't. And I keep it on my shelf. And, and I, I'm sure the reason is um, that it gives meaning to, to communion. It gives meaning to the companionship of Christ for me um, in, a deeper, in a deeper way. I mean, the natural thing would be to just chuck it and get rid of it and get a new one. Uh, but I think there's some value in having this around. I mean, we probably couldn't use it for an actual communion service the way it's not really safe to use. But, but it, um, it reminds me of the fact that uh, the post-Easter Christ, the resurrected Christ, um, appeared to his disciples and to other people with his wounds. Um, that is, the, the wounds from the crucifixion were still on his body when he appeared to the disciples. So... I think there's some message in there, and there's some message that's in that in those stories that's connected with this cup, and that is that um, to be uh, in the fullness of faith, to be in full communion with God, does not mean you're perfect. Uh, even the resurrected Christ's body was not perfect, as we define perfect. Uh, the, our woundedness is is a part of who we are. It's a part of our identity. So, it, the, the, a mature faith. Uh, a mature connection to God um, incorporates that wholeness. Um, it's not just incorporating all the goodness and 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 uh, and the highlights of who we are. It's also incorporating the hurt and the and the hard parts of of who we are. Our stumbling or, or uh, our physical health maybe that isn't perfect. Um, uh, it's it's bringing that wholeness of who we are uh, to God and to our faith. Um, so it's not about jettisoning uh, the bad stuff, the, the, the things we'd rather not look at, um, the hurt. Um, it's about bringing all of that forward, just as Christ brought it all forward uh, in, after his resurrection. His body still carried those wounds, which he showed to Doubting Thomas to, to, uh, uh, to prove that he was actually there. Uh, so the goal, isn't, the goal of faith isn't to... Uh, to rid ourselves necessarily of, of all of the, the woundedness in our lives. It's to bind up those wounds in such a way that we can move forward, but to carry the lessons, the, the, the ways in which that's shaped our identity forward as well, so that we can uh, not in, be in denial of what's happened, those crucifixion moments in our own lives, uh, and those are certainly going on in a lot of people's lives right now with this pandemic. It's not to not to s deny that those things are there, that that, that they've happened to us, uh, but to bring them forward uh, and to bring them to God. Uh, just as we, we, that's what this chalice symbolizes to me: is bringing that that brokenness in our lives. Just as this chalice is broken, bringing that brokenness forward uh, to God, to Christ, uh, for for a blessing. Uh, and a healing and, uh, and an incorporation into the fullness of, of uh, who we are as people of God. So I think that's why I keep this on the shelf, uh, because it's, it's in some ways an odd thing to have up there on my, on my shelf in the office. But, but it does remind me of that important lesson that it's not about perfection. It's about uh, bringing our full selves uh, to God, just as Christ brought him full, his full self to us as well, the fullness of his identity, we bring the fullness of our identity uh, to God through Christ. All right, that's just some thoughts for today. Hope you have a good day today, and we'll catch up again soon. All the best.